Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Culture Shock from Living in Korea. And this video is by K Explorer, so we're going to be checking that out today. Because I want to get to know Korea more. Because if I get into university this September, if I manage to get the grades they are asking for, then my uni course does one year abroad in Korea. So I want to learn more about the culture and more of like the do's and don'ts and I just want to learn a bit more about it so I'm prepared before I go. Even though it'll be on the third year of my university course, so it's a long way away, I still want to be prepared. Alright, let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, let's make sure... Yep, best quality. There's already subtitles. Let's go. Because especially after they smoke, oh. they just, you know, the, <laughs> the chewing loudly for oh, me. Oh, I think like, this is a, like a little preview. Loudly. If a seat is free, they just go out. It's the way of sorting out the garbage. So, I'm going to ask on the sheets of Seoul to ask foreigners what culture shocks they've experienced while living in Korea. Could you briefly okay. introduce yourself? Cool. I'm Blake uh, Bergmeier from Canada. I'm Chris. We are from Germany. I am Deja. I am also Algerian. Oh, I, I like that name, Deja. That's a cool name. Uh, I've been in Seoul for a week now, and I'm planning to stay here for three more weeks. Cool. I'm Febrianto, <laughs> and I'm from Indonesia. My name is Reza, and I'm from Indonesia too. I'm Thomas, I'm from the US and Ohio, and I'm here for university. Oh, My name that'll be me. I'll be like Thomas. I'll be there for university. <laughs> I'm Jonas, cool. I'm from Germany. Good I'm 28 years old, I'm from France. <laughs> I just love the French accent. It's just I don't know. It's just 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 something about it. I do, I did that for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, I I like the French accent. <laughs> I'm Caroline Lebrun, and uh, I'm an inbound student. Yeah, my name is Nitinanda Duran. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas. Everyone has such and cool names. I've been names. living in Seoul for about three and a half years. My name is Amael. I'm from France. I just oh, arrived like France one week again. ago. I'm Elena. I'm from Spain. I'm mm -hmm. Lucy. Like, what is one culture shock you would say you know like you, you've experienced while like living in Korea for like the past seven days? Mainly, it's like you could leave like your jacket or your phone anywhere you anywhere like lose it and it'll still be there. Is that like, true? When, like two days later, like no one steals anything. I don't. Mm, I wouldn't say no one. Like, yeah. Especially in like very big, like popular tourist destinations. There's always those people who take advantage of that with pickpocketing. So I don't think you could say no one, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments below if you know a lot about Korea or you live in Korea. Is this true? I'm a bit skeptical of that because nowhere is that perfect, you know? Unless it's a remote island with just one person, but... They may still steal. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, is that true? It's so trustworthy. Even like, just like putting your credit card in. Usually when you put your credit card in anywhere else, you have to type in a digit. Nah, they just put it in. Sorry about that. I had to, I don't know how far I went. My dogs are barking, so I had to pause this continue. Like two days later, like no one steals anything. It's so trustworthy. Even like, just Be like nice if it is. putting your credit card in. Usually when you put your credit card in anywhere else, you have to type in a digit. Nah, they just put it in. It's so much trust in what? there. That someone could just steal it, but no one ever does. That there are no trash cans on the streets. I Wait, think what? That is one thing that is, is that true as well? Is there literally no um, bins around? Like, I know some places where I travel to in the UK, like London, in some parts of London, it's hard to find a bin. I don't know, maybe it's just like a big city thing. I'm not sure. Is there a reason for that? It's quite shocking when you come here. Like everyone have the same style, for example. The spitting part. Wait, like what? I said I absolutely spitting card. What does she mean by a spitting card? I think I, I miss misinterpreted. The same style, know. for example. The spitting part. Like spitting I cards. said, I absolutely I do not understand that. I mean, I guess it's a thing here in Korea because especially after they smoke, they just you know the <laughs> <laughs> And then they spit everywhere. It's, it's just... Is I'm that sorry, normal? It's disgusting. It's just... It's I don't know. Is that normal in Korea? So I'm guessing... If it is normal, then no one really cares about it. But here in the UK, if you, like, make that noise and spit and... Yeah, that is disgusting here mm -hmm. in the UK. Like, they're known as, like, a scabby person. But... If it's normal in Korea, then it's probably seen differently. I don't know. If you live in Korea and you see people spin on the floor, is it just normal or do you think it's disgusting? Especially when the girls do it. Oh, 
I don't know. Girls wearing skirts when it's super cold. Oh. Like, I'm wearing a big jacket Yes, right now. okay. Like, That's a normal thing in the UK as well. Like, literally, it can be, like, minus 10 degrees. And you'll see girls with, like, belly tops on, short skirts, no tights. And I don't know how they don't shiver. I would literally die of hypothermia if I did that. Winter jacket. And there are girls running around in skirts, like mini skirts, and without thighs. Do you can just get like cold. used to the cold. <laughs> I don't know how they I do it. Know. For me, I think it's the public transportation. Uh, it's very convenient. Oh, nice. It's available like in the whole city, so I think it's a very good point. I Talking about transport being affordable, if you want to mm. get a train here where I live, it is ridiculous prices. Literally, the train is so expensive. But then when you go to London, the underground is actually quite cheap. But yeah, here mm. where I live, the train mm. is super expensive. It's not that reliable. And also buses here where I live. I live in a small town, so I can't say for the whole of the UK, but here where mm. I live, in the small town I live in, do not rely on a bus. You will probably not get one. <laughs> the buses here are so rubbish. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I think it's the weather because Indonesia is a warm country. Back then when we I wish I lived in, in a warm country. Seoul, it's like a minus three, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I then get it's used shocking to that. a lot it's cold because here you too. know from thirty two uh, <laughs> degrees to minus three is quite shocking. Just the amount of people on the street. Back home I live oh, in a yeah. real small town. Same. So this uh, all the people and walking everywhere, being able to walking distance for everything is real helpful. And uh, public transportation, everything yeah. is just all kind of <laughs> new to me compared to back home. The chewing loudly for me, chewing like loudly. when Koreans eat loudly. That I don't know, I wouldn't, I can't say this because I don't know, but I don't think everyone in Korea would chew loudly. That's just maybe my opinion. Is that really a culture thing though? I don't know, let me know down in the comments below. I'm just going by what I think, but yeah. To me, I don't really like people who chew loudly. I don't know why it just goes through me. But is that a culture thing or if it, is that just like some people? What's your opinion on chewing loudly? <laughs> and is it true that in Korea it's normal? Uh, it is one of the first, I think, and the worst, I guess. The second one would probably be like, they look at you a lot when you're a foreigner. Yeah, it's I can see uh, that. It's very different here in Korea <laughs> from Germany. So I've been to markets, um, it's, it's very full everywhere. Pali cool. Pali culture, because in Europe and everything is quite slow. And in France, I think it's one of the worst. Everything is slow, you need like so much paperwork and stuff. For example, when you go to the subway, there's like worst numbers on the ground and you can transfer easily. I injured myself as well doing like some boxing oh no. training. And I just went to like a medical center and I saw a doctor right away. Oh, yeah. They, uh, yeah. The doctors where I live, once again, it might be because I live in a small town. Good luck trying to get an appointment. Literally, I made an appointment and I had to wait like three months, I think. Yeah, three months until I had that appointment. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty slow where I live. I had an x-ray as well and uh, just in like Whoa. 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that is good. I oh, I tried to... Was... Sorry, I tried to press pause. We have 45 minutes. Wow. That would be a miracle where I live. Like literally, once you get to like... Because you don't go to the doctors to get an x-ray here. You have to go to the hospital. You'd be sat in that hospital literally all night. There's literally a little screen in the waiting room that says like six hour wait or something like that and they even come around with the food trolley that's how long you're there they go does anyone want a sandwich any juice it's like i hate the going to the hospital literally you're sat in that crammed pack room with loads of sick people for like days <laughs> i'm not even exaggerating it's crazy but that once again it could be because of where I live, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, just in like 45 minutes. But yeah, I uh, wish I knew 45 what I minutes. had and everything was sorted out. In France, you have to call, get an appointment, yeah. wait for two weeks. Yeah, that's like, and yeah. And then you're gonna see a doctor <laughs> and he's gonna send you to another place to do like x-rays and stuff. Yeah, so that's the same Every, in the UK. Everything is <laughs> much faster and easier here. And it's cool. That's, that's good then. <laughs> like people. 
Sorry, Anne. People that are so kind when you ask them some questions, just like I get lost every time here walking in a <laughs> city, get and lost they are too. very, very kind. And uh, I hope I have that experience. Like, obviously, there's gonna be some people who don't like foreigners. Like, that's everywhere. You know, every country has those type of people who don't really like to open up their eyes to different cultures. But yeah, I hope I have that experience. I hope I meet the majority of nice people. Because is it just me or is the nice people in the world kind of decreasing? Like everyone kind of keeps to their self and are moody these days. So that's just me. I don't know. It could just be the UK. But yeah, let's continue. They help you, like, give uh, you also their number well, to give help you, you your things number. like that. And then crossing the street, that uh, you have, like, to stay in the right side of the street, oh, things no. like that. So Wait, what does that mean? You have to stay on the right. I'm not good with my lefts and rights. Am I going to mess up with just crossing the street? What does she mean by that, by you have to stay on the right? Is it like a system, like a one-way system? I don't know. Like when I was in school you had to walk on the left of the hallway and then the other people walk on the right so you pass like is it like that i don't know <laughs> just different from easily so like are people in your country not kind no it's not like that <laughs> uh, just they are very caring for you even uh when they don't know you and they don't have to help you uh like i hope i so experience nice people give you your their number and in Italy, but i, I don't very... know Oh yeah, she says intim intimate, like she said intimate thing, like, I don't know about the number part, is that, is that really normal or, I don't know. Very intimate thing, you don't just give your number to people, so it's very strange for me. Yeah. The people that give you their number, are they guys or girls? They are young people, they are guys and girls. For me personally, has just been how different um, tradition has been. I guess oh, being back tradition. from America, um, <laughs> it's very individualistic there. And oh, it is it like, I'm guessing in Korea, it's like very strictly traditional. Like they stick to that tradition. They don't like stray off and create their own. I'm guessing that's what he's trying to say. But yeah, tradition is nice sometimes though. <laughs> Here it's the complete opposite, I think. And so just kind of struggling with that and dealing with that. Um, but also learning about it and understanding it has been um, kind of the biggest thing for me. Giving things with two hands or a lot of individual waiting that. and like don't be loud, stuff like that. But nothing really, really shocking so far. Yeah, I, I heard about that as well. Weird. Except like when you sit in the metro, they, people usually tend to get a away from you, you know. <laughs> but to be fair, I wouldn't mind that. If people don't want to sit next to me, then that is great for me because I don't know. I don't like people close to me. So I don't mind that. If they don't want to sit next to me, then that is great. <laughs> great for me. They just sit and they, like, if a seat is free, they just go out. Well, the, the spitting on the ground. Oh, spitting again. <laughs> so is it actually that normal there? I'm guessing it is. Quite common here. Probably the biggest culture shock I have is the way of sorting out the garbage. Oh. It's pretty difficult. I just learned that, that like, this week, actually. In Spain, do you guys not sort out garbage? Oh, we do, but not so complicated. Like, we have plastic, paper, uh, glass, and general waste. Yeah. But, you know, we don't have, like, food waste. Oh, okay. So maybe Korea has the same, like, garbage sorting system as we do here in the UK. Because we do have food waste. We have a food waste bin. We have a cardboard paper. And then we got, like, a plastic and tin and i don't even know i can't even remember bin and we got a glass bin and then you have to like sort it all out literally if you put the wrong thing in the wrong bag the bin men won't take it they'll leave it then they'll write like a little note you put plastic in the paper bin so we're not taking it like they're quite strict here where i live but yeah we do have um what a thing called black bag day where you can just chuck anything in a black bag and they'll take it so some days you don't have to recycle, <laughs> but most days you do. <laughs> Not food waste. Korean people stare a lot um, at us, but uh, oh. we don't know uh, if it's like negative or Yeah, is it? Let me know if you're Korean when you stare, like if, I don't know. So yeah, I'm guessing because it's not that common. I don't know, it might, it's 
common now. It's quite common for foreigners to go to Korea now, but I'm guessing maybe people still like people are curious maybe and they're like just checking them out. I don't know. Some people might be thinking bad things, but I think it's more of like a curiosity thing. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Positive. And there's not a lot of colors in the clothes. Oh, yes. There are like uh, really no, neutral Yeah, colors. I noticed that What too. is your favorite Korean food? The Korean barbecue. You can't, oh. can't go wrong. I mean, the Korean... I really want to try Korean barbecue. I haven't tried it yet. There's a Korean barbecue place like a couple of miles from my home. Maybe one day I'll try it. Barbecue is definitely top tier. What is one thing you like about living in Seoul? I would say the main thing is probably the people. Like how many, like how nice everyone is here. Like, I'm guessing even though you there's don't a lot speak of nice the language, there, they're then. still like considerate and they're trying to speak English. But it's like I should almost be able to speak better Korean. It's like that nice medium, but they're all they're all so he great. He looks very happy all about the living are amazing. in Korea. I've never had one issue with anybody. So like you've been here for like you know four years. Like 혹시 한국말 좀알수 있나요? 알아듣는데 말 잘못해요. 제일 좋아하는 한국 음식이 뭐예요? 양념갈비. 왜그 양념갈비 제일 좋아하시는 건가요? 아 그냥 고기 좋아. What do you like about living in Seoul? It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's it's expensive. Oh, I can see it being expensive because it's, it's quite popular there. I'm guessing, like in London, they put the prices up for everything. Like you could be buying like a packet of crisps for like four pounds in London. I'm being a bit dramatic, but I'm just using it as an example. But then here where I live, you can buy it for like two pound. It depends how many tourists goes there, I guess. To know Korean, to be able to live in Korea. Actually, you would be amazed at how many people, like many Korean people actually speak English in here and they understand even but if But I will say it's still very, very important to learn the language of the countries you live in. Like I really believe that people should because it's just, you know, it's just respectful to talk that language in that country. That's just my opinion, but yeah, moving they on. They <laughs> feel uncomfortable to actually interact with you. They actually understand pretty much. Do you speak Korean? Not enough, not enough, no. yeah. <laughs> I think she wishes I would speak it a little bit better. I'm, I'm learning though, I'm learning. Do you speak Korean food? I don't speak Korean food. I don't speak Korean just made mention earlier on that you were learning um, Korean. Do you speak Korean food? I don't speak Korean food. He's like, I don't know. I don't. To be honest, I am I am focused on looking for a, a stable place right now. I can't speak Korean yet. So. What was oh. your favorite, you know, like K-drama or like K-pop song? <laughs> for the K-pops is uh, Sonny Side, which oh, is yeah, a Korean version. <laughs> yeah, and then for the uh, K-drama, the most that I love is uh, Hospital Playlist. Oh, I'm watching that right yeah, now. Actually. I'm waiting for the se three, <laughs> season three. <laughs> Yeah, I like his like laugh. Oh my god, his laugh's so cute. Let's hear it again. I'm waiting for the season three. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say like your favorite Korean food is? Uh, so far, just uh, kimbap. Oh. I'll just go for kimbap. Why do you like kimbap? I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just convenient, like, you know? Uh, and it's really good. I don't know. You speak Korean? Just don't check him. I'm not up to that point yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Cool. Cool. I just saw a fly almost touch my eye. Oh my god, is that the end? Oh, I'm guessing these are some other videos I can react to. Oh yeah, that would be a good one. Oh, sorry, I'm getting off track now. I'm just looking up for potential videos that I could react to. <laughs> so yeah, I actually enjoyed that video. It was interesting to see what people's culture shocks were. So I kind of know what I can expect, kind of, when I go to Korea. But I definitely want to react to more videos like this so I can really learn more about Korea. Because like I always say, every country has a good side and a bad side. So I want to learn both of them so I know what to be prepared for. Because no country is perfect. It'd be nice if it was, but unfortunately no country is perfect. But the majority is, if you get what I mean. Like the majority of people in that country are genuinely nice people but obviously you always come across a couple of bad people so i just want to be like prepared of what may come when i go to korea so yeah let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to react to more things like this and if you got any suggestions of what i could react to and also if you are from korea if you're korean or if you're living in korea let me know some things about Korea in the comments below. And let me know if you agree with some of these things these people have said. And let me know what your experiences are too.
But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a lovely day today, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>